I don't need your partners. If you thought the coronavirus was gonna cancel Halloween, think again. We might not celebrate the way we usually do, but it's gonna take a lot more to keep us from celebrating things that go bump in the night. And I'm gonna celebrate it exactly the way grown-ups should anyway. At home, on my couch, like I always do, with a month-long Fright Fest. Hello, hello, I'm Chris Killian, and these are the screams you can stream on Netflix. Whether you're looking for kooky and campy or gore so grotesque you gotta cover your eyes, Netflix has got you covered. Up first is The Addams Family. Featuring iconic performances from the late great Raul Julia, Angelica Houston, Christopher Lloyd, and Christina Ricci, the ghoulish characters from Charles Adams' comic come to life for something you can probably watch with the kids. What are you, darling? Where's your costume? This is my costume. I'm a homicidal maniac. They look just like everyone else. Next is The Guest, a breakout genre role for Dan Stevens. The Guest feels like a mix of Halloween and The Terminator with its Halloween setting making it the perfect movie to check out this October, with the added bonus of the plot reaching its crescendo at a Halloween themed dance. I'll cut you a deal, you can take them all off my hands. No, I'm going to kill you. From the mind of Steven Spielberg, 1982's Poltergeist introduced audiences to a swath of supernatural terms that brought the concept of paranormal research to the forefront of pop culture. From the performances to the effects to the story, Poltergeist remains just as effective of a ghost story today as it was nearly 40 years ago, solidifying itself as one of the all-time great haunted house films. This house is clean. One of Anton Yelchin's best and last performances is in Green Room, a siege thriller about a punk band facing off against neo-Nazis. The way it captures a gritty realism of a lesser-known music scene, Green Room immediately hooks you in with its charming characters, only to guide you through the nerve-wracking experience. You breathing? Love and bleed. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow from Washington Irving is one of the most famous spooky tales in history, which has been brought to life in a number of ways in a variety of mediums. The few capture the horror and atmosphere of the creepy adventure quite like Tim Burton's film. Easily the most violent depiction of the famous story, Burton's stylistic sensibilities are on full display, knowing exactly when to lean into the source material's silliness and its ominous eeriness. Next is It Comes at Night. Audiences have seen stories of diseases or viruses ravaging humanity, but few have offered the unease or intimacy of It Comes at Night. What makes the film so compelling is how fearful the audience is made of things that we never see, epitomizing a fear of the unknown. Given how many families around the world have had to adopt a similar lifestyle due to the pandemic, the narrative serves as an unsettling reminder of making ourselves vulnerable to others and closing off all contact. Next is another movie starring Joel Edgerton, The Gift. We've all encountered people from our past that we might not offer a warm welcome to. The Gift explores someone who potentially has to pay for their past and can never escape it, or possibly serves merely as a reflection of the guilt we feel for past transgressions, with the film withholding the truth of the situation until the very shocking end. There's no easy way to say this. Don't visit us anymore. Before The Conjuring and before Aquaman, James Wan delivered audiences a riveting haunted house movie with Insidious, which reinvented a number of genre tropes. While The Conjuring might be James Wan's horror masterpiece, Insidious offers many compelling scares of its own while also crafting a unique mythology that inspired three follow-up films. It's not the house that's haunted. It's your son. Anyone who has spent time in a dark basement by themselves will surely relate to the paranoia felt in the autopsy of Jane Doe, as every creak and bang comes with the fear that you aren't truly alone. The fact that the narrative introduces elements of witchcraft only makes Jane Doe a more compelling mixture of the supernatural and paranoid delusions. The last movie on Netflix you should check out is Session 9. An unsettling narrative in its own right, what makes Session 9 all the more disturbing is the knowledge that it was filmed in the now demolished Danvers State Hospital, a site which many investigators consider to be one of the most haunted places in the world. Thanks for watching. Find me on Twitter at Chris Killian or Instagram at CK Comedy and tell me which of the movies on the list is your favorite scary movie. For the entire month of October, be on the lookout for our other videos as we suggest the best horror movies on all the major streaming services.